it is often said that you never, ever, ever, ever cross your feet when fencing. Well, let's look at a play from a grip. You start in guard B, Secunda. Your opponent is trying to use his left hand to knock your sword away so that he can thrust your chest. And he's going to knock a sword, your sword away with his left hand, or a dagger in his left hand, or maybe a cloak in his left hand, a little stick, it doesn't matter. He's knocking your sword that way, while his right hand and, its, and his sword goes this way, towards him. So, first thing you have to deal with is that dagger. To avoid it, Disengage the outside, bring your hand down into fourth. This is not a rapier fourth, this is a sword. So down here, turns just slightly outwards. That, so, dagger is taken care of. It's no longer a threat, it's over there, way out of the way. But his sword is still coming in on the center line. So we've got to take the body and get it out of the way. could try to step across, but that's a little bit risky. He could simply rotate his wrist, come over the top, and still get us. So instead, what we're going to do is, as Agrippa tells us to, take the left foot and send it traverse, or sideways, to our right. And there you have it. Your blade is now between his sword and his dagger, so neither can affect a parry without fouling the other. In fact, his dagger hand did it correctly. It's way over there because he thought he was going to be slapping your sword aside. So, left hand high, because we're on four. Let me get so to recap. One secunda. Narrow stance. Incline slightly forward. My opponent's trying to beat my sword that way. I disengage under his sword. Going into a traverse stance. Hands of fourth, right hand is high. This blade is going to where I used to be, not where I am now. My blade is going right through his center line. It's that easy. All you're doing, you get the top, second, you're in fourth. Away from you, you can step forward. There's nothing wrong with having to cross feet as long as your opponent is not in a position to take advantage of it. Now, if I was just kind of hanging out here like this and my opponent was there, yeah, you can knock me over in that direction. No problem. Real easy. But he's not. He's over here. Well, the sword is over here, pushing through my whole body line. Pushing through where I am the strongest. And if he does somehow slip and come over into that direction, fine. I'll cut to his head. I'll step back out this way and give him a nice gash across the temple. Yes, there will be times when you have to cross your feet. Don't be afraid of it. Don't stress out about it. Just do it. Put the blade to his face and move on.